Good morning, family. Watch Woman 65, Lisa Boyce. I am here uh, with a um, study by request. And I had said a while ago that I was going to do this. Um, it's about the Jehovah's Witness. Um, I have relatives who are Jehovah's Witnesses, and it's a very, very, very dangerous cult. And I looked up some information about it and I have some notes that I take, that I've taken. But first I wanna thank all the new subscribers that have subscribed to the channel. Um, I pray for you, like I say, every day. Um, I'm no longer um, looking for signs. Like I always say, I'm listening for the trumpet because with this late day and age, we're on our way out of here. Um, I also want to say uh, I got a lot of feedback over the past couple of days about the people that I've exposed. Um, I make no mistake about it and I make no bones about it. I, I will expose false doctrine. <clears throat> Excuse me, I hate false doctrine with a passion. And um, you can't go on telling people uh, that you are saved by grace, but you can't go on telling people that you're going to lose your salvation if you do thus and thus and this and that. Um, it just doesn't work that way. Um, you know, you can't, you can't be into grace and mix law up with that. It don't work that way. Once again, we are saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. There is no requirement for that, but believing, believing in the finished work of Jesus Christ and him alone. Now, the group that I'm mentioning right now don't believe that. They also believe that you can lose your salvation. They also believe that um, we are apostates. That's what they believe. Um, a little bit of background about the Jehovah's Witness and about my relatives. I have two half sisters who have been into this religion for over 40 plus years. The one is dying from um, Parkinson's disease. She's on her deathbed as we speak. And the other one half sister died this year. Now, I have written something about this and I had said something about it about a month ago. When she died, she was so eminent about the Jehovah's Witness. She loved them. She worshiped them. She did everything with them. I told you that when she was dying in the hospital, um, and this is the one sister that's already passed, her mouth was open and the doctors could not close her mouth at all. She literally died with her mouth open and a state of shock was over her face when she died. I think she was shocked at what she found out that they had lied to her all this time because right now she is in a place where we don't want to go. She's in hell right now because she did not believe in the, she did not believe in Jesus at all that he was the son of God and they don't believe that. Uh, the other sister is also dying, like I said, from Parkinson's disease. And she has been in this, she's been in this the longest. I think she's been in this for over 50 years. And so is, and so are her children. Um, we're not close at all. I pray for their salvation. I pray for the other one's salvation too, but we're not close. Um, number one. I'm the younger of all of them, and I'm their half sister, so, and I'm born again. So they don't want nothing really to do with me, which is fine. I have no problem with that. None at all. But I do pray that they get saved. That's all I can do. I don't force myself on nobody. They don't want to be bothered. That's good. That's fine with me. The only thing I can do is pray for them. That's why in some cases, and I'm, I'm going to tell you something here. If you have some family members that are on the outside, and the only thing you can really do is pray for them. 
you can't, you know, that's about all you can do. I mean, you can't force Christ down their throat, but you can pray for him. Now, with that said, uh, this group here gets their information from the Watchtower organization. Um, they've been around since it started back in the 1800s, I think, with Russell Tays, who, by the way, if you look at his gravestone, it's, it's a triangle. It's so demonic. It's, it's, this is so demonic, it's not even funny. Um, they're not saved at all. They deny everything about Christ. They're, they get their information from the Watchtower organization, which is a magazine. They use the Watchtower equally with the sometimes their version of the Bible, which is the, um, I forgot the name of the version of the Bible, but it's so corrupt, it's not even funny. It's, it's totally corrupt. As a Jehovah's Witness, they are taught from the Bible and the Watchtower organization that you attend a number of meetings and believe you are in God's true organization. Like I said, they think that we're the apostates. And we're not in the faith. We're not in the truth. That the, that's what they call it. They believe the Trinity is a demonic doc doctrine and that Christian, Christian, us Christians, is an apostate group preaching a false doctrine, preaching a false gospel. Additionally, they are taught the Watchtower organization is the true channel of God's revelation to his church on earth. Yeah. They are also taught that they are in the truth. That's what they're taught. They're in the truth. They call it the truth. But believing... <laughs> This is the thing I've written. Believing in the truth doesn't make it so with these people. That's what I notice. Some people, and I've heard this before, some people say that, uh, respond by saying that their beliefs are in agreement with the Bible. That can't be more of a lie, then that is a total lie. They study their Bible, but they only study what the Watchtower organization tells them to study. They can't go beyond that. They have to be in guidance and in cooperation with the Watchtower organization. Now, these are some of the quotes from the Watchtower magazine. All who want to understand the Bible should appreciate that the greatly diversified wisdom of God can become known only through Jehovah's channel of communication, the faithful and discreet slave. Now, they use the name Jehovah, which is God, and they twist it for their doctrine. That's what they do. And this is another quote. Thus the Bible is an organizational book and belongs to the Christian congregation as an organization, not to individuals, regardless of how sincerely they may believe they can interpret the Bible. That's why they've taken their own Bible, their own the Bible, and they've made it it's called the, I, can, I still can't remember what the name of that Bible is, but it's their Bible. And it's so distorted and twisted. It's bad. So in short, 
you're led by what the Watchtower organization says, the Bible says. So whatever the watch, Watchtower organization says in the Bible, that's what you have to believe. So in other words, the Watchtower organization owns the Jehovah's Witness and tells them what to say, what to do, and how to think. This organization is getting bigger. They are. They're getting bigger. You're led by what the Watchtower says, the Bible says. But if the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society is from God, now listen to this. This is what I'm asking, and this is what I've read on this research that I've done. If the Watchtower organization and the Jehovah's Witness organization is from God, why are there so many false prophets and false prophecies? They predicted the rapture and the end of time numerous times to the point where back in the early 1900s, people packed up, left their jobs and were waiting for this blessed appearing of God to show up and it never happened. That should have told people something right there. But as time goes on, people get more and more intrigued because you have more and more false prophets coming along telling more and more lies. It's an endless cycle. It's the definition of insanity. Number two, why has it altered the translation of the Bible? That should say something right there too. Number three, why does the watchtower say you will fall into apostasy if you read the Bible without the watchtower? Yeah, that's a cult. Number four, why are you not allowed to examine your own organization and its problems? Jehovah's Witness are not allowed to look at the internet. They are not allowed to look at social media. They are not allowed to look up any information online, period. Number uh, five, why does it tell you what to think and what to do? That is a cult. In every sense of the measure, it is a cult. I tried to tell my sisters that. I tried to tell my nieces and nephews that they are messed up to this day and they're fully grown and have kids on their own. They are messed up. Seriously, mentally and physically. Check out online the Watchtower magazine and see. But some may ask, well, how do you know that the Watchtower is correct? How do we know that the Watchtower magazine is correct? Because they said it is. You can't question these people. You're not allowed to. When a group claims to be a prophet of God, where do we hear that from? Hmm. The Pentecostal and Charismatic movement. A lot. You notice the correlation between these movements? You notice the similarities? They're all cults. When a group claims or a person claims to be a prophet of God, yet mistranslates the Bible and takes verses out of context, makes false prophecies and misquotes authorities all to make their position valid, its credibility is lost and it's not from God. A lot of Pentecostals do that. A lot of them do. That's why a lot of them want to be called prophet and prophet is this and prophet and prophet is that. A lot of them want to be called apostles. 
which they're not. But see, they will never know this. This is how wrapped up and how messed up this is. These people will never know the truth unless they look it up for themselves. They have to learn how to examine all things. We as Christians better know that. Because you can be taken in so easily. That's why when people ask me, who do I listen to or what other channels do I listen to? Very little. Very few. I can't. Because I can't cloud my mind with anything out there that's false. I have to stay focused. We listen to only a few channels. My husband listens to less. I probably listen to a few more than he does. We just don't want that because we, I especially have been through this. I have been through the mind control. I have been through the fear of coming out of these cults and it is not fun. Not, un, not, no. If it wasn't for the grace of God, there I go in one of these organizations. If it wasn't for the grace of God, there I go because I know where I came from and I know how gullible I am to go back to that. But God's grace saved me. And that's the only thing I am trying to get through to people today. It is grace through faith in Christ alone, period. There is no strings attached to that grace through faith in Christ alone. There is no learning how to speak in tongues. There is no water baptism unless you want to get baptized. Someone got on me yesterday about works. He totally, totally. And Marty, if you're listening, I called you out. You called me names, but I still kept your post there. We are not saved by works. We are saved for works. I don't know how to reiterate this. People, we are not saved by works. Your works will get you a one-way ticket to hell. We cannot earn our salvation. We cannot work our way to salvation. It doesn't work that way. We have to accept the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Believe that he is who he was and that he is who he says he is. Believe that. Then you can go out and work. You can do, do, you can do that because now... You're working for rewards in heaven, but you're saved and you didn't get saved by doing those works. I repeat myself every day because every day there's somebody that comes on that has a beef with that. They don't want to accept that, which is fine. That's fine. I pray that you do. I pray that you accept it because all the scriptures that this man quoted to me yesterday after calling me all kinds of names, all these scriptures that he pointed to were Old Testament. And the scriptures that were after the Old Testament is works after you get saved, not before. Your works won't save you and your works won't keep you saved. I'm just laying the truth out there for you. You have to examine all things. I'm just saying. Now, as far as the Jehovah's Witness go, them along with other cults and false prophets out there, they're encouraged what to study, what the organization tells them to study. That means that they can't really check up on false prophecies. They have, they're not allowed to. If they do it, they do it on their own, but they're not allowed to. 
Instead, they have to trust what the Watchtower organization tells them to trust. They're at the mercy of them. In addition, they are instructed not to take any literature. They can't take any literature from apostate Christendom, such as us. They're not to listen to us at all. I used to love it when they came knocking at my door. Even though I didn't know grace back then, I would tell them a few things about salvation, even though I wasn't really equipped to do it. They didn't come back to my door, needless to say. So what the Jehovah's Witness do is the people have a far less opportunity to be challenged. They don't want that. They want you. They want the average person in that organization to be dumbed down. That way they can brainwash you more. Like they did my half sister who died. And the other one who's dying. That's just life. That's the way it is. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not here to save everybody. I'm here to give you the truth and tell you how to be saved. Everybody's not going to take it. Everybody's not going to be saved. That's the sad reality. But if the truth is out there, then they have no excuse, period. That's the bottom line. The Watchtower magazine teaches by asking questions and giving answers that they want you to know. Will they use a Bible reference? Absolutely they will. Out of context, but they'll use it. The Watchtower organization tells you what to think, what to do. And if you say this isn't true and that the Watchtower organization is God's organization on earth, then you're simply repeating what they want you to repeat. The Watchtower organization is the biggest cult that ever stepped foot on this earth. Next to Catholicism, next to Pentecostal Charismatics. And if you notice all of these cults, they have the same thing in common. They want to brainwash you. They want to put fear in you. And they want to keep you as dumbed down as they possibly can. That's no different than some of these false preachers on YouTube that are doing the same thing. Use discernment. Ask the Lord for discernment. Think. Use wisdom. Ask the Lord for wisdom. He will give it to you. Matter of fact, when you accept the gift of grace, grace through faith in Christ alone, God is more open to bless you than ever. We have not skipped a beat, not one time. God has answered every prayer, more so than ever, since accepting this gift of grace. I wanted to let you know that, and I want you to be encouraged. Be encouraged. There's a light right there at the tunnel. It's almost over. The rapture's here, and it's almost over. We will have a crown to lay at his feet. Some of us, I'm hoping for at least one <laughs> to lay at his feet. Some of you have a, a bunch of them. Praise God. Praise him throughout the day. Rejoice. For our Redeemer is drawing near. Have a blessed day.